So LastPass versus one password. If you're trying to decide between these two password management tools, then this video is for you. Now, it's taken me a while to actually create this video because historically, I have been using LastPass. I've been using LastPass for the last few years. And if you've heard it all in the news, there has been some breaches through LastPass. So this has actually spurred me on to make this video to try and understand whether I should be still using LastPass, if it's still safe to do so, or should I be using another password management tool? And if so, which password management tool should I be using? So for full disclosure up front, I have decided to move to one password and I'm going to link to my old video where I review LastPass. So if you just want a dedicated video, go ahead and watch that. But this video, I'm going to compare the two. I'm going to justify why I have made the move from LastPass to one password. So to get started, I'm just going to jump straight on into my desktop and I've just Googled LastPass breach 2023 and so much comes up. If you have heard LastPass has had a few security breaches um, and is it safe to use LastPass anymore? Um, there are lots and lots of um, articles out there about these breaches. Um, some saying directly, you should leave LastPass. Uh, can I still, um, should I cancel LastPass? Can I still trust LastPass? Um, and this got me into looking at what, uh, what is actually happened. So lots and lots of data ha has been leaked through LastPass. Um, Tens of millions of dollars worth uh, of these data breaches has actually gone through. Um, should you be worried about LastPass? Um, all 30 million LastPass users with data stored on the company servers as of August 2022 are at risk. So it's saying everyone is at risk. And looking into this a little bit more into in depth, it's actually the way LastPass is actually structured. So there are humans in the loop at where, whereas it comes to so, uh, saving your passwords. It's not just um, a software platform. So I've been having a look at different ones and which ones I should be using. And I have been recommended 1Password. Um, it's, it's said that the 1Password management system is a much, much safer way. It has never been breached. And it's set up in the way with um, lots of encrypt encrypted keys. that You can't actually hack into it. Um, and this is just underlining how security is the number one priority if you are to use a password management system. So 1Password is cheaper, provides better user experience and is, has an additional security feature called a secret key that makes 1Password practically immune to hacking. So I'm going to show you some of the features of LastPass and 1Password and compare them uh, in addition. So. What is LastPass? Again, I've linked up the uh, the last video that I've done on this, um, and this focuses on really shareability. And the the only challenge I have with this, or the challenge I'd put back to LastPass would, um, or LastPass is you only have to, or you can only share passwords with other LastPass users. So whereas one password, they're putting. Um, the focus on security, you can actually send a link or you can actually send a code to actually get people to actually log into um, your platform. You don't actually have to have someone else with a 1Password account. So it's a lot more shareable and collaborative in that way. So pricing plans. LastPass actually have a free account. So you might think of this as a good thing, um, but it's very, very limited in what you can actually use. Um, it's only one device. You can you can not really share too many uh, free passwords. Whereas 1Password has, it, it's a paid version, but it's 14 days free and then you go straight onto the paid. So LastPass actually give you more flexibility in terms of pricing, but when you actually dive into it, there is no messing around with 1Password and they actually have better deals over the long term. So jumping into my LastPass account, there's some really cool features like they give you a security score. So I have migrated now from LastPass to 1Password and it was really, really simple to do so. Once you create a 1Password account, it simply just downloads all of your LastPass data into 1Password and then you can delete your LastPass account. So I'm in the middle of doing that. I have downloaded all uh, my passwords. I'm just playing around seeing if I still like this new software. But along with security score, this is what I liked about LastPass is it was 
I thought focusing really heavily on security, whereas if I was to log into my one password, it has something like something called Watchtower, which is pretty similar to the security score within LastPass. So there's a lot of features here that are very similar and on the surface they could look like you could go with with any one of these platforms. For example, they both have mobile apps and they both have great features within each mobile app. So you can actually take your mobile with you and still log into and still have all of your passwords in that app. But in addition to that, 1Password also has something called a travel safe vault. So if you are traveling across the country you or internationally, you can have some vaults that you can only access when you are at home. And as previously mentioned, 1Password also has that secret key, which makes it almost impossible to hack your account. So I always like to look on um, Trustpilot when I do any type of platform review. And when I look on Trustpilot, I'm actually quite shocked to see the last pass uh, results. It's got 612 reviews and it's on a 1.3 star, which is actually rated as bad. Whereas you go on to the Trustpilot score for one password, it's actually on a 4.7. It's got 10,000 reviews and it's rated as an excellent. So this one element, just as looking at LastPass, I probably should have done a little bit more due diligence when I was looking at a LastPass, but 1Password has much more social proof, has much more reviews, and it has much better star rating. So if security was your number one focus, then 1Password hands down wins it for me. This is why I've already gone ahead and downloaded all my passwords from LastPass. I will be canceling that account and going forward, I will be using 1Password. And as always, this is just one of the tools that I use to run my entire online business with. I do scrutinize all of these tools to the highest degree. If you wanna get a copy of my checklist of all the tools I use to run this online knowledge commerce business, you can head to timpeakman.com forward slash tools. Simply download your copy of all the tools that I use just to see if they're gonna be right for you, which ones you have, which ones you don't have, which ones you could potentially look at. And if you are using LastPass, this might give you a little bit more information to try and make that educated decision whether you should stay with them or whether you should move on to something a little bit more secure. I look forward to seeing you again on another video soon.